In this video today, we're going to be taking a look at the Starlink flat high performance antenna. This is going to be an unboxing. I'm going to go through everything that's in the package here, uh, explain a little bit along the way, and give you my initial impressions. So this is the box right here for the flat high performance Starlink. This is the generation two, by the way, the current generation. Let's go ahead and open her up. So you got a big plastic divider here to start out with. That's nothing. And then we have this massive antenna. So that's kind of the first thing that stands out to me is just how massive this flat high performance is. Just flip it over here. So it looks like protecting the face of the cover, we have this little divider, which doubles as your instruction sheet. So it tells you how to plug everything in. Uh, this is also showing you pretty much everything that comes in the box as well. So very simple, very minimalist, just like Starlink. Um, they just kind of show you exactly how to do it and you're kind of on your own from there. So we'll come back to this later. And just going back to the panel for a second, let me put this back on the box. Just to give you an idea how massive this one is, let me grab my standard Starlink antenna. So this is a standard Gen 2, and you can see the difference here, how much more surface area the flat high performance has over the standard. So if you're ordering Starlink Business or Starlink Mobility or Maritime, this is the dish that you get. They used to have an actuated version of the high performance antenna that had the mast and the motors and everything. They've discontinued that. So no matter if you're ordering business or the mobility for in motion use, this is the, the model you're going to get. This is called the flat high performance. Looks like we have on the bottom little vent holes and then attachment points for your mounting hardware. So this comes with the wedge mount, which is designed to sit on a vehicle or mount to a flat surface. They do have some other mounting accessories available. You can get the Starlink pipe mount for the flat high performance, which that'll be good for business customers or sites with you know a fixed location where you want to install that on a pole or a mast of some sort. So let's keep going here on the unboxing. Got some manuals here for the power supply. More safety stuff. So it looks like they can they come with everything already hooked up. So you've got this cable right here. Looks like this is going to be your Ethernet cable. We'll get to that in a second. Let me take the power supply out first. Power supply comes with a holder here. I'm just trying to get that separated. There we go. So here's your high performance power supply. You've got three connections on here. This left side, this one goes to the dish. The high performance cable is different than the standard cable. So you won't be able to use your old cable if you're upgrading to this version. This is the side that plugs into the router, this goes into the dish. And this connector is unique to the flat high performance because of the shape here. Now the cable, you can get the longer cables for this, comes with uh, the eight meter cable, I believe. So this is your Starlink cable. The second cable on the power supply is your AC power cord. Pretty standard stuff. And then finally, this is probably the most interesting part and in the, in the part that I wanted to explain. This is your, your network side. So this is actually what's gonna to connect to your router. And you have two different options here. It comes standard with a Starlink Generation 2 router that has the cable that hooks up to it and everything, as you can see right here. 
or going back to this cable that we first talked about here, you can actually plug this side in here. And now you have a standard RJ45 ethernet jack. You can plug this into your own aftermarket router, network switch, or whatever other network equipment you already have existing. This allows you to bypass this Starlink router completely. So that's the power supply. It's got a nice holder, be able to mount it on a wall. You can see a nice little fun um, Easter egg here. You got the little um, original round dish with the cats on top. That's in reference to some of the social media posts where cats were finding the warm Starlink dishes very nice in the wintertime. So that's a nice little fun Easter egg there. Okay, now going over to the router here. Comes with a nice wall mount as well. So the flat high performance kit is definitely meant to be installed, you know, in an RV or in a, um, some kind of, uh, you know, emergency vehicle, rescue vehicle, or whatever other application you may have. So it's definitely got some more accessories that come with the high performance kit rather than the standard kit, which is they just kind of give you the router. So this is kind of cool to see. And nothing special here on the back. So put that down. So this is just a standard generation two router, same one that comes with the standard residential kit. The difference is you have a different cable here. So on a standard gen two kit, your Starlink cable plugs directly into the router because the router is actually supplying power to your dish. Not so on the high performance. On the high performance, if you want to use this router, you have to use this, this cable and connect it to the data side of the power supply. So that's why they include this. That's those cables. Get some mounting hardware for these two wall mounts. That's kind of cool. You get some Starlink stickers as well. So again, this is the same image is what was on the back of this power supply mount. This is the original Gen 1 round dish. And then you also get the Starlink SpaceX sticker. And I believe, yep. So that is everything. That is everything that comes in the Starlink Generation 2 flat high performance kit. Actually, we are missing our wedge mount. So let's go find that. Okay, so I apologize there. I forgot that the wedge mount that's included with the flat high performance is shipped in a separate box. So I had to go find that. Let me do a quick unboxing here of this. Luckily, it's pretty simple. Let me just put that here for a second. So there's only a couple things in the box. You have this hardware kit that is has all the hardware you need for it. Uh, some silicone sealant, it looks like a bunch of different styles of bolts and screws. So this is kind of like a weird universal kit of stuff. I guess we'll just call it that. And then here's your actual wedge mount. So this is what's going to give you that nice eight degree angle that Starlink wants it mounted at. So this is how it's going to be mounted. So imagine here you have a flat surface. You're going to put this on whatever surface your dish is going to sit on top of here. So it'll end up being something like something like this. So you can secure it um, whatever way you can using the supplied hardware or your own. And then you plug your Starlink cable in here. That's all there is to it. Uh, this is metal, by the way. Feels like um, feels like aluminum to me. Pretty lightweight does have these protective pads on the side here so that you don't scuff up the back of the dish. And yeah, so, okay, that finally concludes the unboxing of the Starlink Gen 2 Flat High Performance Kit. Uh, head over to our website, www.starlinkhardware.com for more videos like this and more blog articles. Keep up with the latest Starlink news and updates. Make sure you subscribe to our newsletter and also subscribe to us on YouTube. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.